Hey everybody, Julia here from ITM Events and I'm so excited to talk to you today. So if you've been following along, you knew that I was on vacation a couple of weeks ago. Um, my daughters and I and my daughter's girlfriend, we went on a, um, a cruise and uh, we had loads of fun. So while I was on the cruise, anytime pretty much that I take holidays, I am able to relax and just totally clear my mind, which is when I do some of my best thinking, some of my best work, whatever. Um, I promised I wasn't going to do any work, promised myself that I wasn't going to do any work on that trip. So I didn't take my laptop. I didn't take anything with me. All I took was a notebook, um, and some reading material. So, and I think that actually worked out, uh, really beneficial for me. So while I was there, I, or sorry, let me back that up just a step. So right before I left, I had listened to a podcast that really got me thinking and it was a uh, Boss Babes con podcast about your why and you needed to you need to know what your why is because being an entrepreneur is hard work and there are a lot of days when it would be much easier just to throw in the towel and quit but if you can keep your why in mind um, you'll stay focused and energized and um, on task and I knew listening to that podcast right before I left was ideal because it was going to give me an opportunity to um, play around with that thought in my head while I was away. And it all became very clear and I'm very excited to share it with you. And I was really hoping that as soon as I like as soon as I got home, I was going to have this all written up and done for you. And I started to and I think what the problem was is that I started to write a blog post to share with you all. But I couldn't put in writing the way I was feeling. So I'm hoping by doing a video that you'll be able to feel what I feel. So talking about my why, um, my why actually has three components. There is a why for me, a why for others, and then a second why for others. <laughs> Today I want to talk about the why for me. So why did I start this journey? Why did I, why am I where I am today? So to give you a bit of background information, I had a cash for life job. I had, I was lucky. I got into our Canadian federal government at a young age. Um, I was set to retire. I had everything lined up. So everything I could possibly need, I um, was able to go on maternity leave with one of my daughters and take a whole year off and like all of those benefits. I was an assistant director um, by the age of, I don't know, something like 27 or 28. Um, I had a big office, I had staff reporting to me, like all of those things and um, making decent money, decent comfortable money, um, and I just, I wasn't happy. And at that time, my husband worked construction. When he got on to the fire department, it was um, like a light went off for me. So he got onto Ottawa Fire, and which then in turn meant that we now had two very secure um, jobs, cash for life jobs, which a light went off for me and was like, okay, now it's my turn to do something that I need to do. And um, I ended up having a, like, it didn't obviously didn't happen. Well, it kind of happened overnight, but at this stage, it did not happen overnight. And I made some changes in my life and I, I handed in my resignation letter from the federal government at the age of 30, I think I was at the time. And you can iman imagine the, the look around the boardroom table when I announced this to all of our staff, um, that I was resigning, like the room essentially went silent. <laughs> Um, but I was 100% comfortable in my decision. I knew that I needed to make a change. At that time, the change was to become a consultant. So I was doing the exact same job for a different department um, and then essentially moved around as consultants do, um, but without any of the headaches of actually working for the government. And what I found difficult working for the government, um, I don't like the red tape. I hate the amount of time it takes to make decisions. I, can't, I hate that you can't make changes without a million repercussions and having to run it by everyone and their dog to get it okayed. Um, it just was not a good place for me. Uh, maybe it's my entrepreneurial mind that I just, I, I am a doer and I want to get stuff done and I want to see results. And I felt that I was being held back. So I made that change. 
became a consultant and that lasted a couple of years um, where it made a difference. Um, the biggest problem I was facing at that time is that I started to make more money and our family life was now starting to uh, live up to that extra money that I was making. So it was putting pressure on me to stay. So when I started to not be happy again where I was, I was feeling the same pressures as I was before. Um, this time minus the security. <laughs> so uh, I was having a conversation with one of my colleagues. Actually, she was a client at the time. And I said that I had read that the job that you should be doing is the one thing you would do for free. And at that time, the the to her, so she was she was feeling frustrated. She was near retirement though and and it didn't make sense for her to leave at that time. She said if she could do anything, she would move down to the Caribbean and open a B&B. And then in the conversation, my response was if I could do anything, I would plan parties for free. Cuz we already did that. That's what Trevor and I did um for our friends. And we planned these great big parties and like retreats and cool stuff. Anyway, that was what excited me at the time. So um, essentially, I went home that night and started a website. <laughs> and here we are um, almost nine years later, like we're coming up on nine years, October 1st, and nine years completed um, October 1st. And... I do more than plan parties. I do plan parties and it's super fun. Um, but we also plan conferences and galas and all kinds of really cool stuff. But essentially I went home that day and just started a new a website and started on my journey. So um, I didn't, at that time, I didn't really put a lot of thought into why I was doing that. And I didn't put any thought into why I was unhappy and what I needed to change in my life and address the bigger issue. So while I was on holiday, I was, I was able to put, and before that, leading up to this too, it wasn't just literally like hearing a podcast and overnight was like, oh, there it is. But I had been thinking about this a long time and I realized that my why is my freedom. I have felt tied down through every other career that I've had. So starting this business has given me freedom and that's what I was after. I wanted freedom. I wanted to be treated like an adult and be able to manage my time. I don't wanna to have to work Monday to Friday, nine to five. Um, I spend on a, a lot of time working um, Sundays. Sundays are a great work day for me and I spend hours sitting on the couch while my family is watching a TV show or doing whatever and I sit on my little chaise lounge that I have, put my headphones on with my laptop and I do some of my best work on Sundays. Sunday afternoons and during the week I'm busy I have my daughter my daughter who's in her last year of high school um, plays competitive basketball and I will not miss a game so I don't want to have to explain to someone else why I can't be at work because I have a game to go to and that's way more important than anything else at this time and I'm be I'm able to control my schedule so like yesterday I, I knew that yesterday afternoon I was going to be out of the office so Wednesday night I worked. I worked Wednesday night on stuff that I knew I was going to be working on on Thursday afternoon if I'd been in the office. So I am just about to set up um, some goals on my back wall. There's a few things, again, from the baseball, uh, Boss Babe podcast that's got me thinking. And I want to set out some goals on my wall so that I see them on a regular basis. And one of the goals, obviously, is going to be a financial goal. And I realized today while I was in the shower, which is why I didn't stop to blow dry my hair and put on my makeup before I did this, because it just came to me, it clicked. So I always have this number in my head, and the number changes from time to time, like, you know, consistently, every six months or whatever, it continues to grow. And I have a number in mind, and there was something I saw or heard on the Boss Babe podcast today, I think, that got me thinking that it's never been about that number. Like it's not about the fact that I want to make $100,000 this year. If that's my goal, that goal is because that number associates to my freedom. If my company can make that kind of money, I know that I can walk away from my government consulting job forever and never have to go back and then build my company up from that point. So that again, it's not about a number. It's not about 
like I, I am, I will, I will, if I am meant to be rich, I will be rich and I will enjoy all of the luxuries of that. But my personal goals are not to get rich. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is about creating a life for myself and for my family where I am able to be present when I want, how I can. And in order to do that, there's a number that needs to be mat matched to be able to have that same freedom. So that is my number one why is my freedom. I want to be in control of my time. I want to um, be in control of what I do day, day in and day out and not just my time aspect. I want to do something that inspires me and excites me and I continue to learn from. So in the career that I was in, obviously there's always something new to learn, but essentially no matter what government department I moved to, I was doing the exact same job. And uh, to me, is painful. I'm in a job now or I'm in a career, I'm I own a business that does something new and fresh every single time and it's so much fun. It excites me to try new things and to um see our clients get excited about things that we've recommended or just wanted to try and they let us go ahead and do it. It is it gets me up every morning and I'm excited to try something new. And I'm like, it's the most ridiculous thing. I'm excited about creating a new layout for a form that a client provided us. So a client, you know, has been doing the same event forever for the last five years, let's say. And we're now taking over the event. So they send us this form. This is the form we always use to send to our exhibitors. And I look at the form and immediately I think we can do better. That form should be better and I know we can do better. That excites me. Whereas if I was still in the government, if I saw something that needed to be changed like that, they'd be like, mm, that's not really how we do things and that's the way we've always done it. And okay, I see what you mean, but in order to make that change, it's gonna have to go to these people and then to these people. And then, and then six months later, I may actually get a response that says, mm, sorry, we decided that we're just gonna keep the form the same way. I can't work like that. I want to work with people who are excited to try new things, who um, love, like who aren't afraid to express that wow feeling when they walk in a room that we created and they're like, yep, yeah, awesome. Way better than what we ever envisioned. And I want to, I want to take that all in because I'm so proud of the work that we do. Um, that's it. That's, that is my why. I love what I do and I want to feel free and I want to work from home all the time. I work from home uh, four days a week, um, minus meetings and things, of course, but I literally get up from my bed, go downstairs, have my breakfast, go sit out in my hot tub, come back up to my office, do my reading, do my meditating, do my journaling, and then sit down at my desk in this beautiful little room that's all my own and I just work. And then if my daughter messages me and says, holy crap, I forgot my basketball shoes. I need you to bring them to me. I can do that. And I need to be picked up to go to work. Can you pick me up? Yes. Being able to do that is exactly what living feels like to me. And that's what I wanted. I wanted the freedom to live my life because I get one shot at this just like everybody else. And I want to do it on my terms. That's it. That's my why. What's your why?